Hello, Badger Band families. This is Mr. Moore. We made it through the year. It was interesting, but we made it. Um, I really need a haircut. I think that's the worst thing that's happened to me. But uh, a couple years ago, I did win the award for Best Mullet in a Yearbook Photo. So this is par for the course for me. Uh, I have two bits of news for you. Um, first off, uh, what's going on with marching band? Uh, we have three possibilities, uh, and I want to share those with you. Option number one is that school opens up and we are uh, able to have band camp and band football season as normal. Um, that would mean that starting in the middle of July, that we have full access to campus and we have all the access we need. Um, I honestly think this is unlikely. Um, even if we are able to start school as normal in the fall, there are probably going to be some restrictions on um, how many people we can have in the room and what kind of access we can have. Um, so as much as that would be our, our hope for the best, our, our best option, um, I don't think that's going to happen. So what do we do now? Option two is to do um, an abbreviated season. So let's hope that we're able to get on the campus starting August 6th. That's the first day of school as scheduled. Um, doing the, the show we had planned, the elemental show, which we're calling The Storm now, um, that show was going to be a big production. Um, the music was expensive. Our drill writer is expensive. That was going to be our, our next big step up in competition. Um, I don't want to waste that show on a shortened season. So we're going to shelf the elemental show until the 2021-2022 school year. So seniors, new seniors, uh, if you were really excited about that show, uh, I'm sorry, but we still have good stuff in store. We're going to pull out uh, one of our greatest hit shows from the past. We're going to do Keeping It Classic. That is the, the show that the seniors who just graduated did their freshman year, uh, and it was a very good show. It's uh, Emperada Overture, Variations on a Korean Folk Song, and uh, Corral and Shaker Dance. And a lot of you know that music. We've played it in concert band. It's great music. The marching band version of it is great. Um, and then I'll write the drill. Um, we have allowances for the length of show, the amount of drill. So if we can only do two of those tunes, and we only have 20 sets of drill instead of 60, um, our competition circuit will allow for that, and I can do that. Um, so that that's going to be, I think that's our... Hopefully, what happens? Um, we're waiting until June first, so that's uh, next week. If we if we get clearance to open up by then, we'll we'll make some changes. But that that's what our plan. Um, what is the third option? Third option is what if there's no football? Um, what if the the CDC says no after school activities, no large groups at all, and there's just no football? Well, that would really redefine who we are, specifically for a semester. So we would do concert band. Uh, there's, you know, hundreds of years of great concert band music. Um, we'll align that to what the class structure looks like, and we'll make sure that we are developing as musicians. Um, we might do more in the spring as things open up. Color Guard and Percussion have their indoor groups. There's a possibility of an indoor winds group. Um, maybe we'll just make something up, and we'll do kind of an indoor marching band thing on our own. Uh, for those of you who are really in the marching band and, and miss marching band. Um, we can't make any firm decisions um, until we get some guidance. So we're waiting for June 1st. That's going to be our, our cutoff date for going with the elemental show. Um, but I'm ex uh, expecting to hold off until next year. All right. Uh, option number two. Or, sorry. Update number two. Bit of news number two. Um, finance. Uh, band's expensive. You know, we ask you to pay that that uh, $175 band pledged for band operations to buy food and, and uh, transportation, uniforms, and whatnot. Um, what does that mean if there's no marching band? Well, we're, we still have a, a tentative plan to collect that. Um, so it's going to be coming in one way or, or another. So you don't have to pay it yet, um, but keep it in the back of your mind that that is going to be coming. What are we going to spend it on? Well, um, it is a trip year. We would really like to go back to Disneyland in the spring. Uh, is Disneyland going to be open? Uh, who knows? We don't really know that. Um, so a an idea that we can't fully implement yet is um, we're going to ask you to pay your band pledge in the fall, and if there's no marching band, that will just go to 
towards your Disney trip. So that's just an idea. That's not a definite plan, but those are the kind of conversations we're having um, we would like to have happen. All right, bit of news number three. I said there were two. There are actually three. Um, I think we're going to start to phase out our Facebook chat groups. Um, there's an app called Band, the, the Band app. Um, we're testing it out with uh, one of the parent groups and the section leaders right now. We're going to see how it goes. Um, if all goes well over the next week or so, we're going to roll it out for the, uh, the full program. Um, it works a lot like the Facebook chat groups, but it also incorporates calendars. Um, you could do sign-ups and uh, surveys. Uh, it's much more uh, well-rounded. Uh, it's gonna, it, I think it's gonna serve us well. The district doesn't really like us using Facebook anyway. So uh, if you see an app or a, a post saying, please download this app to your phone or on your computer, um, it's legit and I think it's gonna work well for us. All right, uh, seniors, you made it. Uh, if you didn't get to watch the, the band banquet uh, video, it's on Facebook and on YouTube. So uh, that was really my goodbye to the seniors. Uh, but I want you to think back to band camp this year. We had three big questions. Who are you? What do you want? And why are you here? Let's change those two past tense. So instead of who are you, who were you? What did band make you become? When people think about you in the future, who will they remember? Hopefully it's someone that, that cared about them and encourage them to be better. Uh, why were you there? Hopefully you got out of it what you wanted to. Um, I, I truly hope that band was a great experience for you. Um, you know, nothing is perfect, so you probably had some bumps along the way, but as you think back about your band experience in the future, uh, I hope you uh, I hope you got out, got, got something uh, great out of it. Uh, I'm going to be at the senior parade tomorrow, so I will uh, I will wave and cheer and all my car panned up, and um, we'll see you there. Come back and visit in the fall or spring or whenever we see each other again. Uh, if for anything in this video, if you have any questions, please email me or uh, or message me, and uh, we'll see you in the future.